Voilà, alors qu'on accueille chaleureusement encore une fois Christophe Calvo. We didn't expect a French translation. Good evening, uh, bonsoir tout le monde. Good evening, everyone. Um, first of all, I would like to thank you for the invitation. I had quite an exciting summer since my election in, in June, but this convention is certainly one of, of the highlights. Um, I learned a lot of things about resolutions, working groups, uh, calling the question. <laughs> so it was, it was an inspiring period. Um, I met interesting people like your party leader, Elizabeth. I think a lot of parties, even green parties, have a reason to be jealous with, with just a, such a party leader. Uh, so I'm happy that I came to Toronto, even if it's not good for my footprint. Um, dear people, let me tell you first a little bit about uh, Belgian politics. Not because I want to explain you everything about our structures, that would take all the convention, um, But it's quite important um, because the past few months, the, the role of the Green Party has indicated why Greens are so important, not only in Belgium, but also in, in other countries. You may know that Belgium has been in a serious political crisis for uh, quite a time. Our country has increasingly been crippled by political games and the differences between Flemings and Francophones. Uh, three prime ministers, Four governments and a lot of crises um, eventually lead to early elections in June. I was quite happy with these elections. My party, Green, has made a very good score with these elections anticipated. It was really a stimulant for us because we have had a very period, period difficult since 2003. We had a great effect at that moment. -là. Et on était content avec les résultats, et moi aussi parce que je suis devenu parlementaire à ce moment-là, ce qui est une bonne nouvelle aussi, bien sûr. Um, our country is, is current, uh, currently trying to reach an institutional agreement, so we try to reach that agreement first, and then we make a government. It's a bit strange for you, but I will explain it afterwards. Um, and with that government, Groen will, my party, will probably end up in the opposition, because other parties think our program is too green and too social conscious, I think. Um, but however, we are taking part of the negotiations on the institutional part, on the constitutional part, because together with ECOLO, our French-speaking Green Party, we want to overcome the deadlock. We want to make politics credible again in Belgium. And I can tell you that the Green Parties are really playing a special role in our country and in the negotiations. For qui, plus de democracy is très important qui n'applique pas une stratégie de confrontation, qui a le courage de se parfois démarquer de l'opinion courante à Belgique, mais aussi dans des autres pays. I think you know the answer, the Greens. Your friends, your Belgian friends, vos amis belges, nous, les écologistes. Finding creative and independent solutions is in a Greens party DNA. It is no coincidence that our chairman negotiates for nights on end without any resulting government mandates for our party, not for the Green Party anyway. We are governed by the power of the idea and not by the idea of power as other parties. <laughs> dear, dear friends, I'm in fact extremely proud to be a member of parliament, especially when I was 23 years old. I'm very sorry. Uh, <laughs> that I am a member of parliament for such a party and such a movement. I was 16 when I decided to get myself a green membership card, a bit naive, but enthusiast. And seven years later, I have not regretted the decision even once. And I think actually it's hard not to be a green as a young politician. Because other traditional parties, and not only in Belgium, but also in this country, I heard quite a lot about Canadian politics the last 48 hours, Other traditional parties are suffering from Zukunftsvergessenheit. Normally, I don't like to speak German, 
but I like that German term, Zukunftsvergessenheit. It's difficult to translate, but it perfectly describes the shortcomings of other movements. They, the others, not the Greens, do politics today with the recipes of yesterday and are so forgetting tomorrow and the day after. <laughs> Green parties, we, not the others, are offering future generation a say in the political debate, a say they have a right to. This is what has made us so unique. This makes the Greens, I think, a youth party by definition. During the last, there are a lot of speakers on the agenda, so <laughs> we don't, energy is renewable, but you don't have to, always, but it's nice. You are nice people, you are a nice party. I know it is. Uh, during the last campaign in, in, in my country, I noticed that more and more young people like green politics. Not because, not because of our fancy slogans, we had a bad one. Not because of our website, we have a good one. Not because of our Facebook page, we have a lot of fans, but because of our content, because of our platform. In a period of incertitude, in a plain crisis economic, the Verts apportent and apportent a message of hope and change. Not the change for the pleasure of change, but because it's 100% necessary. In an economical crisis, we as Greens had a message of hope and change. No change because of the change, because it's necessary. Notre programme en faveur d'une économie moderne, créative et verte a séduit beaucoup de jeunes dans mon pays. Comme de nombreux autres partis verts, Groen a beaucoup investi ces dernières années dans le programme économique. And I think that choice isn't really a choice because green polit politics has to be economic. Un choix qui n'est pas un, car la politique verte sera économique ou ne sera pas. The fact that, and I saw it on the website before I came to here, and I saw it now during the, the convention, the fact that green economy is one of your spearheads is a good choice. The ecological economy is the alternative to the well-trodden paths of, of blind growth, social breakdown, and casino capitalism. It offers people, especially young people, a hopeful perspective for the future. And I think we may say that the green economy is good for everyone. For creative business people, and I saw a lot of creative business people in the Canadian Green Party, which is very, very good. But also for youngsters on the lookout for a job. And I can tell you, with this story of the green economy, the Greens currently win elections in Europe. In Belgium, in the Netherlands, in Hungary, and even in the UK where the Green Party managed to win a green seat in spite of a hard voting system. An unfair voting system, as you know, in this nice, beautiful country. <laughs> this is also the story with which the GPC will achieve success. After two days, I'm convinced of this. I know it's quite fast, but I learn fast. I wish you a lot of success in the development of the GPC. I think a beautiful country like Canada deserves a strong Green Party. What has succeeded in the UK and today in Australia will happen also here in Canada. I'm sure about that. I think, I saw it again the last 48 hours, this party is ready for elections. I see it, I feel it, I almost taste it. So I think the GPC is ready to win elections. For the members, I have only one message. Be a proud ambassador. Use all your energy for, for the right things. I think we have quite a good story as, as Greens, so we, we don't have reasons to be ashamed. We are not responsible for a financial or ecological crisis for the movements are. Our ideology is that of the future, that of for the future, so we have no reasons to stay at home. We have all the reasons to convince all people, not only in Canada, but also in Belgium, to convince them to vote green. And for those at home or, or here in the room doubting whether or not to financial support the GPC, do not hesitate anymore. I think a contribution to the Green Party is really a sustainable investment. There is no investment risk. 
no casino capitalism, <laughs> you will provide, it will provide you a bright future and that's the reason why we do politics as Greens in Canada but also in Belgium. Thank you very much. Christoph Kalmar.